8th of July, 2037. So what? So, so you, you call me what, mate? Hey guys, and welcome to a blank screen. No, this is a drift. A VR experience brought to you by a non-VR player. Why am I not playing this in VR? Well, I don't have the 800 quid to spare for a decent VR headset, so well, we're just going to play this like this, I suppose. Uh, why particularly this game? Well, one of my friends said it looked really good, and I normally take his recommendations uh, quite seriously, so we're going to have a go. Oh man, it's big, it's black, there are things drifting past me, there is a planet below me! And I appear to have a female's breath pattern. I don't know. Maybe it's like standard issue lungs. Who, who knows? Uh, oh, you want to grab that. You want to grab that. Okay, so I see twisted metal all in front of me. I see shards of metal that I've just ripped my spacesuit on. Surely? Shirley. Oh, is my name Shirley? Is that is that what's going on here? My heads up display EDH seems a little naff. Oxygen leak detected. Oxygen leak detected. Emergency life support oh, wow. system online. Manual oxygen refill required. Okay, well, where are we going to find oxygen? <laughs> That's pretty nice. That's a good look, guys. That is a good look. Do you reckon this will tell us where we can get some oxygen from? I don't know. Okay, so let's quickly talk you guys through the HUD. You will see on the left I have something called Vel. That is my velocity. The bigger the, the arc is lit up, the faster I am traveling in that direction. Below, oh, oh sorry, on the right we have direction. Ow. That tells me my movement up and down, and for some reason the, bu the buttons seem to be the wrong way around for me, but that's okay. I will get used to them over time. Uh, we are in a Newtonian environment. Oh, oxygen is at an all-time low, though I do see some oxygen right there, so if we can just kind of reach out and grab for it, I think we will stop that alarm at least. There appears to be a little bit more over there, but there's greening, green flashing lights on there, so that's pretty good camo for me, as you guys who have watched the Alien Isolation series will know. I am so totally shocked that I spotted this, actually. I mean, flashing green lights in a space station, ultimate camouflage. Okay, let's grab some more oxygen and try and get our... Oh, let's break. Does breaking happen? Breaking does happen. Okay, we need to get forwards just a little bit there. So, as you may have been able to guess... I have no idea what's going on here. Pretty standard start to any game, to be honest. Uh, we appear to be in a space station that somehow appears to have blown up somehow. What is this panel over here? Is that emergency oxygen? That's an O2 station. Let's go and have a look. Let's go have a look. I keep bouncing off of the, uh, the furniture here. You guys are going to have to uh, allow me some teething troubles here as we get used to the control system. Uh, we are, as I say, in a, new, a, a Newtonian damage. system, so we'd be doing quite well to use very, very small puffs of air. We are out of oxygen in the oxygen system. That's no good. Okay, so this seems to be the next place that I feel like we need to go. Let's try and move forwards, and then we'll use our sidewards push. Hello, little spinning oxygen can. How are you doing? Set a little drift in the cosmos, such as myself. Wow. Okay, if we could go a little bit faster, I would be very grateful. I see that I have a radar on the left. I do wonder what that is. So this says offline. That is no good. Okay. Ow. What hit me? All I did was spun around. Okay, that looks open. This looks open. Do you reckon... We need to go out... Oh, no, there's a little arrow over there. That might have something to do with what we're doing. I was about to say, do you reckon we need to go outside? I mean, like, that's, that's really what we want to do. We want to spend all our oxygen uh, deorbiting ourselves so that we can get back to Earth. I mean, that's that's what it's all about, right? Oh, look, some, some spare oxygen going here. That's nice. Uh, no, that is also a wall. I'm actually starting to think that maybe my crazy idea of going outside is a thing, unless there is another button on a wall somewhere. Okay, so let's do a systematic search of this area. Uh, something I'm not very good at. You guys may have noticed this over time. This looks good. We've got an online portal over here. Uh, when I say portal, I mean like hatchway. I'm not talking like portal. It's not going to teleport me anywhere. That's where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see this. Okay, let's apply my EVA brakes. Let's not go that way then. Okay, so is... It says exit. Hmm, maybe this is actually the way I okay. kept... What happened there? There was a crunchy noise and there was a little shake. Is this where I came from? Oh man, I'm lost already. Uh, I think I want to go this way. 
I don't recognise the debris out there. This is going to probably turn out that, yes, this is actually where I came from. All right, drifting through doors. I do wonder whether I'm drifting sort of Superman style or whether I'm stood up. I mean, how would you drift through space? There is a thing in front of me there. I kind of feel like I want to go for it. Let's give it a little bit more. Data transfer in progress. Well, what is going on? What data are we transferring? Oshima, Alex. Yes, Commander, Alex Oshima. Hardiman Aerospace North Star 4. Vital signs. Stable. Well, stable is a very relative term there. Let's see if we can't get this oxygen bottle on the way past. Mm -mm -mm. Like a marathon runner grabbing a bottle of Sunny D. That was amazing. Okay, let's try and keep going towards the, the doors. I think just a general forward motion in the correct direction would be a generally good idea here. Uh, who, who would have thought that that would have been the case? Let's try and organize ourselves up here. Okay, so we're just drifting, so I think we can take a moment to spin around and have a look and see what's going on. System damaged. Oxygen repurposed as shared life support and propulsion resource. Oh man, I don't need that. Propulsion use incrementally depletes EVA oxygen reserves. So for those of you who didn't quite hear what his distorted little voice said there, uh, the oxygen is being used to power my EVA suit because we have run out of propellant, like it got damaged or something. So obviously what we need is to use my like limited oxygen reserves in flying around. Why would that not be the case? I mean, that's what NASA recommends, right? That's, that's definitely, oh jeez. Look at the destruction here. So that little floating thing there, I'm wondering whether that's a thing we want to go for. I want to kind of go down just a touch to try and grab some of these oxygen bottles. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, not that one. If, if you could not get that, that one. We're, all right, we're going to have to spend some oxygen to try and gather, gather the oxygen. That's all right. I think that's okay. Um, oh, no. Up and across, please. That was a lot of oxygen spent just to get that bottle of oxygen. Though we appear to have done okay. We are at full oxygen store, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, so I assume we go this way. It looks deadly. It looks dangerous. There are lots of sparks and things that look like they want to ruin my day. But we are trained at this. We, we are like... We did the EVA training beforehand in California. It said so. Uh, we, we came here to the station to lead this, this uh, science station up. I presume. I mean, why would I not? I am the antagonist, of, uh, protagonist, sorry, of this particular story. Do you copy mission control? Come in, mission control. No, any, anyone going to give some advice there? I, I don't think anyone's going to talk to them. Ow, 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 what did I hit? I really wish I could see my, my legs or something. Like, looking down does me no good, I don't think. Look down. No, I can't. I can't see my legs. Uh, emergency life support online. Link leak reduced. Okay, I'm not sure how we got that, but that's that's pretty good. We must have passed through somewhere that did something very good for us. Very very good. Okay, I see a little oxygen bottle, bottle there. We're going to try and just deflect our flight path a little bit to the side so that we can sweep past it and grab it like a pro. Okay, here we go. Like a pro, I say. Like a pro. Nom noms. All right, cool. This is good. Little bounce off the wall is uh, no one's no one's uh, harm here. I don't think. I don't know. Well, I hope so. Um, it does us well though. Ricochets us onto the right direction and through a little doorway here. <laughs> this outside view, man. This outside view. It's not really what you want to see when you're like trying to navigate a space station, is it? Okay, let's get flowing a little bit. I think I'm being maybe a little bit over cautious with my oxygen here. Uh, I do keep seeing fresh bottles so maybe we want to spend a little bit more. Catastrophic event detected. Origin point. Terminated. Catastrophic event. Yeah, I, I would say that a catastrophic event has definitely happened here. What did I just hit? Uh, we want to go down, if we can. Down. Nice. We appear to be going sideways more than anything. So if we can just kind of look at that. And you see we've got the direction on the right-hand side. I want to try and make that zero so we're drifting directly towards it. And then take a moment to spin around and look. Oh, wow, guys. I don't even know where we're drifting over at the moment. Is that, that Murica? No, maybe not. I don't I don't quite recognize the landmass here. I mean, who even says we're over Earth? Oh, wow. 
I copy, please come in. Respond to me so I don't have to respond to you. I'm a little bit lost. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Let's, let's go back over that way. I drifted the correct direction. This was good. I just wanted to stop and have a look, you know. Just wanted to, I'm going to apply my brakes and reset my direction because we came in at a slightly squiffy angle. It's good. I like squiffy, though. Squiffy is definitely the word I will use to describe the things I like in my life. Okay, let's carry on going this way. How much oxygen have we got? We're down at half reserves. Hopefully this tank all but tops us up that's fine that's fine let's let's start going back up and i reckon through this hatch we will find another flat of oxygen that is going to help us woo wee i love the design on these uh these iris portalways here i i always do love a good iris but there appears to be a hole in the middle and surely that would be leaking like it was bad bulkhead design is i think what i'm going for here it's bad bulkhead design now what is this i assume this is a power system I like, I don't know, maybe just an art installation to show our mastery over electromagnetic uh, waves, right? Whoa, 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 what, what? I'm a remaining survivor. How dare you? You even said survivor detected, so I know you know I'm here. I know you know. Okay, let's see if we can get a top up here. I don't think so. This is probably, yeah, sink failed. Okay. Uh, stop. That says exit. I don't really trust it. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it's the only way we can go. That That is unfortunate. I do love this here, though. What do you guys think? Kind of reminds me of, like, maybe it's a scale model of the uh, the place where Ripley fought the, all the aliens on the alien isolation. It kind of looks familiar. There just needs to be a walkway going around it, and it'll be great. Uh, oh, what do we have here? Audio terminal. Can we, can we access the audio terminal? Is it going to have anything on it, or is it just going to be like, no, nope, everything's broken. Can't you see that everything's broken? Hello? What was that? Well, we got a noise as if it was going to do something. So let's try and, if we can, access this terminal here. Uh, does X do stuff? Well, I touched the screen lovingly. Oh, oh yes. Caress that smooth monitor there. Nah, it's not going to work for me, is it? Wow, doesn't really like me touching any of the walls, even at the slowest speeds possible, does it? That is outrageous. I mean, like... I know when I'm in space, you can guarantee that I'm going to be using my hands and arms to just kind of move around a little bit. Which one was down? This one's down, okay. It just makes more sense, you know? We're, we're used to scrabbling around for things. And using handholds... Ow! My shins! Who put that door there? Um, scrabbling for handholds just seems natural to us now, you know? Okay, can we get this bottle of oxygen here? I don't know. I'm not sure. If we can just hold out for it and snatched like a pro. It's good how it uh, takes that last two or three frames there to just orientate itself towards my hand there. Uh, that was really nice. Okay, how are we going to look around here? I wonder what the blue means. I wonder what the blue is about. It's very beautiful. There's water just everywhere everywhere none of it's hit my my uh, screen yet i was gonna say my monitor nothing's hit my screen yet why why not you'd expect it to should we go over that way and see if we can get some stuff to hit our screen i mean this is a vr experience after all <laughs> uh yeah into the water here if we can this is probably a bad way of doing it but so everything just seems to be suspended Yeah, so they, they get like infinitely large across my screen, but they don't actually impact. That's bad water physics there. That's bad water physics. Okay, let's go for the next doorway. I do like the fact that they're all just floating around, but like as soon as some momentum is imparted, surely they would just be off. Warning, external EVA fires are critically damaged. EVA repair required. Where do I get an EV EVA repair from? Because my visor is critically damaged, according to that distorted voice right there. Oh, look, maybe something in here has something to do with what I need. Solaris, crew quarters. Solaris, Solaris. I don't know how you, how you say that properly. All I know is it's a George Clooney movie that I really wish I'd never watched. Um, okay, EVA repair station. How convenient. How convenient. You know, this is what I like about these companies that just kind of really try to look after their staff, you know. Let's try and get in here. Provide everything they need exactly as they need it. Okay, how are we going to... Hold X. 
Okay, we're drifting towards it through the power of random magnetism, I assume. All right, let's get a fully functional EVA suit on the go, please. Please remain still. I am remaining still, thank you. Okay, nice. Can I can I look that way? I can't do any of my looking at the moment. Vital sign stable. Okay, my my uh, EVA suit is repaired and my vital signs are stable. This is good. I would like a slightly larger oxygen tank if I can. Like I appear to only have half my meter full, and that screams to me that maybe we could do better. Is that my room? Is that my room? Can we just like sleep it all off? Do you think? Do you think that's a good shout there? If we just kind of curl up in our bunk and wait for NASA to send the rescue squad up. I mean, that's obviously what's going to happen here, right? Maybe if we're lucky. Maybe it's JAXA. Who knows? Ow. Or, as we all know, by uh, 2037, the Canadian Space Agency would actually uh, be reigning supreme with their mighty robotics prowess. Oh, we got we got an email. Let's go read this email. Commander Oshida, I reviewed your Sprintus production plan ahead of review. You are tracking positively and remain optimistic. Regarding your alternate proposal, I can see you very real benefits here and the data supports you. Plan around uh, increased spirit. Yeah, okay. Well, they're making some stuff up here. That that's cool. I mean, it is the laboratory of the future. We all know this. Is that is that cold? Is that what's hitting me here? I don't know what's exactly going on. Ah, oh, look, I know exactly what's going on here. I keep crashing into stuff. Let's go repair our EVA suit again, shall we? Okay, going through the same system again. For some reason, looking in exactly the same way as all humans do when they do something again. You know, they always uh, do the exact same head motions and mannerisms that they did the first time through okay this bottle of oxygen appears to have been thankfully refueled very very helpful very helpful let's try and grab it on the way past ah uh, stretch with the wrong hand oh at least that one was uh, in the right orientation by the time i grabbed it that was good that was good oh look some earbuds can we get can we get these i'd like to know what's going on in the world oh no there's a jasmine maybe i don't know what what flower is that could be letting my friends down here oh i keep clipping my shins on the doorway and for some reason that like smashes up my helmet I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there hey can, can I have that please what does it do it says I want it hand for personal data device version 4.7 acquired multiple personal data devices detected and online yes location coordinates unknown well wow, that's that's great thank you Thank you for telling me there are things around that we don't know where they are. That's amazing. In fact, I've just noticed that my whole radar seems to be full of stuff that I probably wanted to have a look at, but I've been too busy flying around going, ooh and ah, and traversing this oh-so-difficult linear maze. And obviously, it's not a difficult linear maze. Um, now, there's a bright green thing in front of me. Obviously, a doorway. Okay, we want to go up because <laughs> I don't want to hit my shins again. Okay, we appear to be in the... A hand for cerebrium. Does that mean this is where all the thinking happens? Core systems repair required for emergency escape vehicle launch. Emergency repair required. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. I'm not sure exactly. So Spiritus, that's what I've been working on. Okay. We know this. That's fine. That's fine. Uh Vocalis, communications, okay, that's good. Mobius, propulsion systems, Mobilis, sorry. And Solaris power management. Okay, all right. So we've just come through the power systems. Uh, life support systems are over there. Let's see if we can't stabilize ourselves for a second. That's nice. So where do you reckon we have to go? All right, I'm going to approach the terminal. That is conveniently lit up for me. I was going to say the one that I work on, but as it's conveniently lit up, we will go with the convenient lighting up. Mankind above all else. Activating spirit system terminal. Is that like an on-orbit pun? You know, we're mankind above Spirit everything else. And Initializing diagnostic sequence. Diagnostic sequence? How useful. We could do this. Cerebrum core corrupt. Oh, no. Offline. Oh, no. Cerebrum module so how do we fix all this Spirit stuff? System repair required for Salvis EEV life support system operation. Locate system mainframe. Fabricate cerebrum core. Repair cerebrum module. All right. Let's confirm that then. Where are we going then? Well, I presume we're going in the Spiritus. Spirit, Spiritus? Life support system. 
those screens change in a funny way as you drift past them like this. Okay, let's let's go through. Let's go and see what's going on. I can't. Uh, EVA station two. What what do you reckon the EVA stations do? Now in the other places they've just been failed oxygen refills. Is this a failed oxygen refill? Come close. Tell me your secrets. Secrets tell me that it is a failed offline station. Well, I kind of knew that anyway, but I thought it'd be rude not to check, right? Someone built that. Someone wanted it to be used. Okay, let's come down here and have a look. We need... Oh, flashing lights. Flashing lights are going to work well, right? Hey, what have we got here? So right in front of us, there appears to be some sort of data pad. Let's see if we can get to it. We are in the Spiritus Access Wing. Hey, little floaty pad. You know, ever since the crash, you've been my only friend. 